In the course of our lives, adversity tests all of us in ways we could never imagine or anticipate. And we are formed by the choices we make in dealing with these challenges. For those fighting Rett syndrome, the challenges they've had to face have been extraordinary, and their response is inspirational. For a lot of us, the story might be, once upon a time, something bad happened, and, well, we just had to learn to live with it. But for the courageous people dealing with Rett syndrome, they've chosen to take the hero's path. They've made a choice to take action. Some take action by defying the discouragements hurled at them, by creating a positive, proactive life for their families. Others have chosen to take action by informing and unifying a community, and still others have chosen to fight back with the powerful tools of science. And like all great battles, the conflict has been intense, and the outcomes have sometimes been quite surprising. Imagine for a moment that you are the new parent of a beautiful baby girl. As you hold her in your arms, you're filled with countless hopes and dreams about her future. And for the first year and a half of her life, your daughter seems perfectly healthy and happy. But then, something changes. You notice she's slowly losing the ability to speak, to walk, and to use her fingers to pick up her Cheerios. She develops a strange clasping or wringing of her hands and stops looking you in the eyes. Then it gets worse. There are seizures, digestion difficulties, breathing irregularities, and more. Your daughter's life seems to be slipping through your fingers. And all the best doctors in the world tell you there is nothing you or anyone else can do about it. This is exactly what's happened to thousands and thousands of families around the world who have learned that their daughters have a debilitating neurological disorder known as Rett Syndrome. Not Tourette's, but Rett. Named after the Vienna physician Dr. Andreas Rett, who over 45 years ago first noticed two girls in his clinic with these symptoms. Today, we know Rett syndrome is caused by a mutated gene on the X chromosome that corrupts a child's natural neurological development. Since the time of Dr. Rett's initial discovery, countless cases of Rett syndrome have been identified all over the world, and almost exclusively in females. approximately once every five hours, yet most people have never heard of it. Because of this, the condition is often misdiagnosed by the medical profession as autism or cerebral palsy. Nonetheless, Rett syndrome is a heart-wrenching reality that countless families are dealing with on a daily basis. We want to change that. The International Rett Syndrome Association, also known as URSA, the only organization committed to funding research, raising public awareness, and providing unparalleled information and emotional support to families of children living with Rett Syndrome. URSA began on the kitchen table of a caring mother named Kathy Hunter and has grown into the world's largest and most respected international organization committed to finding treatments and a cure for Rett Syndrome. URSA has already successfully funded some of the most important breakthroughs in Rett Syndrome research, including the discovery of the gene mutation responsible for this heartbreaking disorder. URSA continues to fund and support researchers around the world in their continuing aggressive and groundbreaking efforts. The progress and momentum of this research is growing every day and hopes have never been higher. But more is needed. Ask any of the parents. They'll tell you about the unique personalities of their girls, the special ways their daughters communicate their needs, desires, and love. 
but they also see their daily struggles, the frustrations, the pain, and the way society misjudges their abilities and intelligence. This is why Ursa is not only aggressively looking for a cure, but we strongly support research looking for real-world solutions that will help families on a daily basis to relieve pain, enhance communication, educate, stimulate, and improve the overall quality of life for these bright young women and girls. One of Ursa's favorite mottos is, Care today, cure tomorrow. Ursa produced an internationally televised and award-winning documentary called Silent Angels. My laboratory in the lab of Dr. Uta Franca cloned the red syndrome gene. Major goosebumps. Yes. <laughs>